YouTube, this is Gamer Guy Gladimir here, and today what I have for you is the optimized version of my Dragoonity deck. This pen clicking, that's me taking notes on how well I do, so that way if I'm correct about what I'm thinking we're going to see for the, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe the World Cup series, if everyone's really testing what they're going to play, um, boom, activate skill, select a card. Boom. And then we'll unequip Atlas. So this is the level log build. I think I figured out the premier structure deck build. I'll show it to you guys. After I beat this hoser down. Taylor's heading out now. We'll poke a dino. That's a gamer tag that you guys probably won't know because she doesn't have a YouTube channel, but you should encourage it. I think she'd be more entertaining than I am while gaming. I'm just more polite while gaming than anything else. And yeah, we'll just end the turn there. Because Stardust Spark Dragon is really freaking cool. Let's hope they can't get over him. Here's the hopes. High hopes. Come on, don't get over him. Come on, don't get over him. If you can't get over him, I think I win. If if they get over him, I win, I lose. This, this deck is really finicky no matter what you do with it, but I do have a really fun build for level log that requires no Leviathan. And I have a Leviathan build. doesn't really require Leviathan, but y you should use it because otherwise you're going to be waiting to turn 2 to get your Ascalon. I'm waiting to turn 2 to get my Ascalon on. Let's we'll start banishing Gravekeepers, baby. Hmm, I'm worried. It's a lot of trap power they got down there. It's a lot of darn trap power. Let's see what they do here. Because I can respond with Spark's effect, and Spark is cool. Oh, they're aware of the response with Spark effect. Are they aware of if they destroy this, that I get a another one? Pot of Acquisitiveness is so much cooler than your guys' Burial card. I'm looking to get Burial just to test it. Oh man, they're so not aware. Oh no. Oh man. Oh man, here we go. They're slipping. We caught them slipping, boys. Alright, Taylor's heading out. Pokedino. Oh no. Yes. Um, yes, please. Um, yes. And, um, yes, please. Bloop. Oh, I'm having so much fun with this deck, guys. Oh, man, this is so awesome. Boop. Nice. Wide open for the face shot. So, we can beat Sharanwi with Dragoonities if we are on the level log build and they're on the Ish um, Ishizu build. <laughs> Dragoonities are going to replace a lot of old decks. I'm not saying they're any better. I'm just saying that they will replace old decks. So this might be our win against Sharanwi with the uh, Dragoonities. Now, as you can see, I can synchro... Maybe more than I could with the Sharanwi deck. We're going to diddle that yard, though. I can tell you that way harder. This player has no idea what to do. They're like, oh, man, I'm not playing the grass build. They're freaking out. They're not playing their burgeoning whirl flame build. Where they're just going to whirl flame to death. Oh, no, they got me. This might be an OTK here. <laughs> let's, let's hope I didn't lose to Sharanwi. If I did, there was just nothing else I could have done. This deck is optimized to synchro without needing Leviathan. That is the key here, is we're not using a single Leviathan in the level log build. The level log build is strictly for us to enjoy, guys. So with the level log build, I'm definitely going to show you guys the deck because it's a lot more technical than I would like to admit. Um, Pot of Inquisitiveness can actually beat Metaphys, and I lost to a bad opener on my last one. This deck is very, very finicky. 
I want to say that because I haven't heard DK throw that out there for you guys. I haven't heard anyone really, even on the Duel Links meta page, I haven't really read any reviews of it where anyone's like, be careful what you're doing. This is a very A1 deck when it draws well and it plays well. That anything else is going to cause an instant loss. Oh yeah, here we go, baby. Remove that freaking Samurai Saiga, my favorite. Oh, they're going up one better. They're going to just get my face. This dude is eating my face off right now. Right now, he is going to calculatedly eat my face off because he's got Sharanui. And they are so beast. I haven't even tested them for the World Cup yet because I'm going to do like 20 test matches with them. And I guarantee you at least half or more will be wins. Whereas all my other test matches, guess what's won? Uh, Alright, so prep for the World Cup series notes. Okay, a full Ancient Gear counter deck with counters to lock out the meta. Literally could not get there. No get there power. Just zero of it. Oh man, I'm losing Phalanx. I'm losing this one. So we'll call it their win. I'm going to surrender here. But just so you guys could see that. Uh, so we have Ancient Counters. We have Ancient Counters losing to Shiranui, Christrons, and Blackwings. And I think that's a good idea that Ancient Gear has fallen pretty far out of the meta. Um, that we're... I'm an Ancient Gear player. I'm an Ancient Gear head. Um, but my sub terrors did the best. They beat Empty Synchros is what I call this deck. Oh no, this was Fortune Lady. Was it Empty Synchros that beat me? No, it was Gravekeeper Fusion that beat me, so I'm adding that to my list. Don't have the Dimensional Prison, but I can work around that. I have so many staples. Um, I actually am really confident about my staples having Floodgates now. This is the one I beat, Empty Synchros. Now, Empty, you can pause and look at these decks anytime. Um, Empty Synchros is silly. It was just a silly deck. But the Dragoonity Level Log deck, perfect. Three Militums, two Atlas, three Phalanx. Now, you go, why one Hey Trunade? Because I only have one. But I noticed that I'm running so much spell power in this deck, I, I didn't have a trap. When you don't have a trap, get rid of your World Legacy Clash. That way you can use Treacherous. Treacherous is amazing. I don't know why people think it's any less amazing than it is. Yes, you can only run one, but if you can find a way to remove the one in your yard, you can use two. That's four monsters that you can bomb every game. That's just so much value. Just so much value. Sorry, I'm getting too excited now. Alright, let's keep looking, let's keep looking. So, Dragoonity Level Log was there. Um, now, another deck, and while I'm finding this deck, I'm going to tell you guys, oh, there it is, about Red Eyes. Red Eyes Equip does not work. I lost to a Red Eyes um, Sealed Tombs. I lost to Cyber Dragons. And I want to say Dark Magician. So again, another good point to go off of is that Red Eyes is so far off the meta that it is no longer playable. <laughs> Here, I was like, oh, no trap power, but I have two slots open. You need to play at least two to three Leviathan. If you play two, this is what I'd recommend. Or if you play three, this is what I'd recommend doing. Because you see how you have way less spell and trap power in this version. What you're going to do is you're going to grab that treacherous trap hole. Oh no. Yep. There we go. You're going to grab you this treacherous trap hole. See again, like I said, I had two deck slots open. I'm like, what do I fill them with? Um, I mean, you could really go another Atlas. You could go another Pot of Inquisitiveness. I would try it like this. This is what I would recommend. This also is a very consistent, we're going straight to Ascalon build. Like, this isn't, we're going to play around to get to Ascalon. This is, you summon Sonidus, Sonidus, Shonidus, Sinaitis. You get rid of Milidum if you have her, or Backless if you have it, and then you throw down a Phalanx. You, before you throw Militum, you need to level log that Militum into a level 8 with your Senatus, and that way your Senatus is level 8, your Phalanx comes out and sinks right into a level 8. This ain't level log, boys. Level log, boys. What this here is, is this is Draw Sense Wind. So Draw Sense Wind is really powerful with the deck because everything's a wind monster. Um, but Leviathan is sick. He's just sick. He equips Phalanx. You unequip Phalanx by his own effect. Boom. There's Ascalon. 
So, consistent Ascalons on these two builds. I've got the two Premier builds. I should have stated that, but my clickbait's going to be the one Premier Dragoonity build. And you guys are getting two from me for free? You're welcome. Play these on the ladder. Give them a shot. Like, I'm mad about bad decks that I lose to on the ladder. But, uh, yeah, guys, deck testing right now. Um, Dragoonities have had two L's right now, so that would be one, two Metaphys with a bad opener and Sharonwi. I mark them as SH and Sharonwi, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna test another, I'm gonna test this build online, but I will catch you guys later. This has been Gamer Guy Gladimir, and I am signing out.